I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, Dirty Money, Puff Aluffagus, Dip Dap, Doo Wop, or whatever he is currently being called. By the way, had his homes raided after being accused of sex trafficking and violating RICO statutes. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! Homeland Security Department agents gathered evidence for an investigation being run by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. What's next? What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay fucking down. Now, according to law enforcement officials familiar with the inquiry, Sean Combs' Miami home was also searched. So what the hell is going on? Well, after being sued by numerous women over the years regarding sexual abuse, no, not him, him. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody. I could do anything. Including Combs' ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, the singer known as Cassie. She accused him of rape and repeated physical assaults and said he forced her to have sex with male prostitutes as he watched and videotaped. I could do anything. Wow. It looks like Puffy had a Yoda. You force. Yes. And Poodle Doodle Ding Dang Aringa claimed he didn't do anything to Cassie and was totally innocent. Then he settled out of court for millions. You know, like you do when you are totally innocent. Joy Dickerson Neal accused Combs of in a suit of drugging her and sandwich in 1991, recording the attack and then distributing the footage without her consent. Drugging? Sexually f abusing her and not getting a signed video release? He's a monster! So how powerful is Poof Abracadabra Doppelganger? Well, after the raid on his house was announced, he sent a cargo ship to crash into and destroy the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore so the media totally changed direction and stopped covering the raid on his home. Yeah. Then Puff Puff Choo Choo Train had the gangs in Haiti destroy that country so the media forgot that he is being investigated for being a sex trafficking sexual abuser. Allegedly. I could do anything. Here's how powerful Pringle Doodad really is. He made one phone call and the next thing we know, Donald Trump is whoring Bibles. Here's Donald holding the Bible with flesh-covered gloves so he doesn't burst into flames. What did Puddle Dag Navik pay to get burnt umber Satan to hold a Bible? Well, they obviously made a call to a judge and get tr Trump's judgment dropped from $440 million to $175 million and made True Social an app that made Three million dollars in nine months worth thirteen billion. Yeah, that's right. That's how powerful Patty Nod Doppelganger really is. In fact, Puff the Magic Assaulter is so powerful and rich, and he's so hooked up, connected, and linked in. First of all, that he's not on LinkedIn, but he's also so omnipotent, so vicious that people that cross him get hurt or disappear. So Maybe this is my last Armageddon update. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sean. You know I love you. <laughs> I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon update. Uh, every prayer needs day. Every movie. You know, he stole that from Sting, and he has to pay Sting five grand a day because he stole the song. Uh, we met, we had San Francisco this past weekend, mm -hmm. and we met Cops Pub. Billy, who we talked about forever, who is with Advertise Cast, but it's now called Lips and Ads. And that was super awesome. Yeah, and then, I am adopting her as family. She's there. The I great, love her. And that was her daughter? And her daughter, Marissa. Yeah, it was daughter, super was Marissa, cool. It's cool. interesting, like, because, you know, you get to know some people online through what you're with your band or with this and then you get to yeah. meet people and it's kind of cool to finally put it together so i just wanted to mention that because that was a fun part of this week and we've also had a, a kind of a prickly week our little puppy chaplain had a surgery at 14 teeth pulled out eight, um, no no 18 oh my god he had not what, just pulled some it cut. started it, it 18 teeth fell out, and i thought he's even like he's got 13 left or 12 left he's got he some fell out 18 were taken out yesterday, and he's still got 13 So left. he's in trouble. He's uh, So Ray's not going to be in Portland this week in, at Helium, uh, but I will be there doing my show. Uh, so we will have to get a local opener. But that being said- Cadaver uh, bone? What about- what? I thought there was a ways to do this. Cadaver bone- you guys can trade <laughs> teeth. I mean, they there's probably so yeah, think that he's, I think he's 14, which is 72. We figured out he's 72 in dog years. And that- Oh, so there are ghost bones now. He had his just... whole fo Aww. face ripped up hard. 
Uh, yeah, to the he's point where she didn't bring him. Forever, though, she didn't guys. bring him to the podcast. That's how bad he's doing. She left him with with Pucci. All right, and then that. Um, so uh, just regarding the Armageddon update, listen. Um, listen. When uh, Sean, of course, we don't have enough followers for Sean Combs to send people after us, right? Oh, uh, everything now. is alleged. <laughs> Not yet. Everything's alleged. Yeah, it's all alleged. All of it. I will say part. It's of- interesting to watch though a drone shot of literally it looks like an army. And, it, and you know what it looked like? It looked like the final scene to Scarface. <laughs> like people just blowing into his mansion. I did just want to say um, it was this whole investigation mm-hmm. is being led by HSI. So somebody has a little insight. I can't give any insight, but I will say that I have a family member you guys have met that is an investigator with HSI. And uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. I, um, she knows. in the old she days knows. of my life, I would have been on the side of the people being raided. <laughs> but uh-huh. in the new days, I have two people yeah, that I'm been- close to that yesterday, that one person that works out of LA that it will be involved in this case and then one person who doesn't live here who had fellow people fly here to do this raid because it's federal i mean this is not this is not something that he's just doing in la this is changed with this is and it's rico it's rico stuff there's been years there the rumors about him have have been going on for years forever yeah in fact cat williams there's a bunch of people like there's weird stuff on podcasts i've seen where like there's someone will do like five sentences about him so he brought me into a room and he was like all over me and i'm like yo puppy i'm not like that yes yeah i mean there's like a million stories of that same exact scenario happening to different other artists like when he would like child like kind of like child grooming like he'd bring in like new young you know singers but not just girls for himself or for others Yeah. yeah I think there's a point, there's a, a level of debauchery that a billion dollars buys you that. I don't you, like him. You just, you know, if you've done, if, if you can afford to do anything enough. Yeah. Well, what's beyond anything? Yeah. The next weirder thing. Even, even when he's proven to be guilty, he'll still be just like Trump. Oh no, did you see a statement? It's a witch hunt. He said it's a witch hunt. Oh my God. The excessive and military force used was for show. It was Biden administration. um, Yeah. It's (laughs) like. Did he mention Biden? No. My Grammy was stolen. Oh, he went up. He went. (laughs) Uh, They are now reporting that federal agents found firearms. And I'm like, oh, did, okay. What, did Ra- you oh, not? really? A rapper with guns? The, That's weird. The least he's not a rapper. Let's not. Exactly. He was. I wouldn't call it that. He killed Tupac. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm kidding. Wow. Allegedly, you're kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> Put the commas where you wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna have to edit this one. I. There are rumors that he was involved. There have been. Along with your you've heard this rumors, too. your grooming rumors, you mm-hmm. have and, you and, also uh, heard that he was involved in Biggie, Tupac, oh, and yeah. or Biggie's yeah. deaths in some manner, and then um, may have just been may have just called the Uber. You don't know, but that's yeah. more that's more easily kind of I don't know conspiracy. Theory. Yeah, you well, could, you but, could say oh that's a conspiracy, but, 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 but these um, grooming that's cases been going on for there's a while. so many. And it's from all well, different he settled, people. He settled like four of them. So right? this Did he is really? something yeah. that you've oh heard God. about. For yeah, a long- yeah. Oh. He yeah. settled one for uh, the, the Cassie girl. He settled it for a big. Oh, he's that like, one. He he's like nothing that. happened, and then he settled out of court for millions of dollars. Listen, if your your rap name has Daddy in it, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like there's I'm a. Sorry, it's Diddy. There's a Diddy, Diddy, <laughs> money. It's Diddy, Dirty. It's, that's mm. the other thing. You Puff don't the magic get to keep changing your name and tell me I have to keep up with that shit. It was PD for a while. Then we've gone through like six of them. How about yeah, you just make good that. music? Even Snoop yeah, Dogg. Right. Even Snoop Dogg backed off Snoop Line in about a week and a half. He was like, <laughs> yeah. "Yeah, man, I yeah, I Snoop for one album. I, yeah, it, it wasn't Snoop. Like, call me Snoop Line, and we were like, mm, that's not good. We don't like none of us like that. Remember uh, when Garth Brooks was uh that was like a whole different character though. Chris Gaines. Chris, Chris Gaines. Gaines. Are you going to do yeah, an he album? Went, as- he, went a bl- he went like, he was going from Garth Brooks to Chris Gaines. He didn't go Big G Country. He, didn't, he, went, he went to Chris Gaines. What's your, what's your next? Brian Michaels. That's my, that's my, that's, <laughs> that's my new pseudonym. Album. My, Brian, Christopher, <laughs> Christopher Tracy. <laughs> oh, Christopher Tracy. He did, that. Prince did that. Yeah, but Prince also had Alexander Nevermind. He had like, he had Carmen. Uh, he had these cool names. Prince yeah, but would, sometimes artists will do some. Well, they'll come up with a different name as a licensing thing. Like they'll perform on another another band's album, and they'll go, "Oh, I don't want to be yeah. promoted as 
part of this, so I'm just going to do it as a, as a favor. So well, on the Time albums, I think it is Alexander. Never mind. He Prince uses an entirely different name, mm -hmm. and he did it on so a bunch of other. Let stuff. me just. I just want to say this about Tupac because I'll probably say stuff about Tupac for the rest of this podcast Kay. just because mm. it's like. So, mm -hmm. do you remember uh, when we finally had the guy? They arrested the arrested guy. They arrested a guy for killing Tupac in Vegas. Yes. Um, reports came out and pieces of audio of a police interview that occurred in 2008 with the LAPD um, where that guy, Keith D, Keith yep. D claimed that Diddy offered him $1 million to assassinate Tupac. That key piece of evidence is now going to be in the murder trial. Uh, it's just came out as so Vegas it's no longer a dude talking. Case. It's actually in, it's actually now going to be introduced as evidence. He's he, <laughs> Keefy D. Keith, I don't know who that is. That's the guy, though, can be heard laughing and joking with police about Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's killing in 1996. The guy claimed that with uh, he said he didn't have firm evidence to present that he oversaw the fatal shooting of Tupac at the request of Diddy during the mid 1990s. So it's not even mid interview. It's like he's off. He's just joking with them about, oh, yeah, it was totally like, and now it's been leaked. So you cops are arresting me. You're my buddies, right? Let's just have a conversation about the worst evidence ever. <laughs> hey, by the way, so here's what happened. So, oh, yeah, I'm getting arrested. You know who did this? Oh, by the way, I don't oh, have the right to be silent, but <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Let me just tell you all. <laughs> I was the third shooter on the grassy knoll, too. I mean, shit. You remember the grassy knoll? <laughs> that was me. I shot Kennedy. <laughs> Tried to assassinate Reagan, too. I, mean, was just crazy. I mixed the Kool Aid, the Jim Jones thing. I, I was a Kool Aid guy. Epstein. I made this rope. Like the Kool Aid guy came to the wall during the Jim Jones thing. And then, That's they, oh, yeah. Yeah, that and they was all what drank? was said to me yesterday was that before it came out, what it was for was that this looked like it was an Epstein type situation that he. So Diddy is. OK, so That's just what we said back is Yoda. He had a Yoda is. Yes. So he is a uh, subject of a federal criminal investigation amid several lawsuits that have been filed against him in recent months. Uh, three women and one man at least have been interviewed by federal officials in Manhattan in relation to allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics. And firearms. supposedly the, the other rumor is that he's like Epstein. Had that he would have freak nights or whatever. They had all these things filmed. This is what I was. Yeah. So he's got people. Imagine Hollywood. He's got people that great production value. The, oh really my God, well amazing, amazing. The, the, the lasers. It was, I mean, it, was like, it was like sex tape with with lasers and cool very high production. <laughs> Buff Daddy. Everybody's no. wearing chrome pants. <laughs> Everybody goes <laughs> when they go into the bedrooms. They all have green screens. Like, yeah, hey, exactly. Why? Why is this? This why is, is odd. This? <laughs> Everything's a music video. <laughs> Um, the We're about to have sex. Action. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Cassie, she was able... So this is all centered at SDNY. So she was able to bring that lawsuit against him because of Letitia James. It all goes oh, back be to Tish because of the New York Adult Survivors Act. Do you remember they made that? They, they changed the year. law and that's why so... So Letitia James helped get that get that fixed, right? It allowed, yeah, adult victims of sexual assault to come forward with civil claims, regardless of statute of limitations. Ooh, mm -hmm. and that and Jean Carroll now well, is going to get eighty million. Yep, mm -hmm. they settled the day after she filed because they found that not the settlement. I'm talking about the why it can be extended is because how trauma can be suppressed mm -hmm. yes. and the dates you, but also, you, you can't yeah. predict when the memory is going to come right. back and, 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 and what society is going to do to you if you come forward with exactly. something. And also, did he may kill you? He, he took, he took out a dude with a kettlebell once. I mean, the dude is he threatened another guy to get that up was hitting on her right? to get a, yeah. Uh, what kid was Cuddy. the weight of the kettlebell? Oh, no, no, I'm Those sorry. Are... Kid Cuddy. Okay. A little, a little. Uh, yeah, exactly. What? You got that? Jesus. That's who I thought. Exactly. Was it a 30? Because it was 30. I mean, you can't wheel that, but that is a workout. <laughs> but even a five. What wad is that? What CrossFit wad is the. <laughs> the Diddy workout? <laughs> yeah. Yo, welcome the to Diddy the beat down. <laughs> the P Diddy beat down workout. Because he took another guy, uh, gave up shares in, in one of the record companies with a baseball bat. He also, uh, Kib, okay, this was this. So this is crazy. Kid, Kid Cuddy. So Kid Cuddy, who I guess was hitting on this girl, Cassie, or she had been talking to him or whatever. Or mm. probably not. 
he threatened to she's a musician he's a musician maybe it was working on something yeah he threatened to blow up kid cuddy's car uh, a few weeks later kid cuddy's car blew up and they interviewed kid cuddy and kid cuddy goes he goes yeah that's confirmed my car blew up <laughs> holy <laughs> shit <laughs> so um uh, i'm glad no one knows uh that this that this podcast is in lancaster <laughs> And then next week, it's going to be in yeah, exactly. Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, Switzerland. That's right. We move this podcast every week. That's right. Um, so, uh, also, uh, tell about the Cuba Gooding Jr. aspect. I was oh, like really kind of let down. The so, guy, there was that producer you know that who Cuba, filed the lawsuit. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. has been arrested like a while ago for sexual assault and a couple other things. And like he's, they're bringing him as a witness on this Puff Daddy thing now. No, no, no. He's also going to be uh no there he's a, he's, he's a, a co, co, co defendant, defendant in that lawsuit from the producer Lil Lil Rod or yeah for for molesting a dude for like feeling him up and stuff and the guy was like leave me and then he goes Puff Daddy I was working for Puff Daddy he was supposed to keep me he was supposed to like protect me and he was like and, and I guess uh, that's what I was reading today so man so what's Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba have to do with the molestation uh, I. It's part of being around Puff Daddy. No, he's part of it. No, he. he was, he, was he's committing some junior. of those things too. Yes. he's named as a co-defendant by this producer, oh. wow. saying that Cuba Gooding Jr. was grabbing him without his consent, rubbing his upper thighs. Doing, yes, it's yes. I thought I was like, oh come on. But the whole the nineties are just wrecked. Well, everything is over. Show me man. Uh, the uh, they arrested a guy with him at Opalaka Airport in Miami. This twenty five year old guy who's the mule, uh -huh, drug mule, dr supposedly brings drugs and guns. For R. Kelly prosecutor supposedly. has come out and said Diddy should be quote very concerned by Homeland Security raids and arrest of drug mule. Yeah, when R. Kelly's attorney comes out and goes, "Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad." So <laughs> both people involved that are law enforcement officials yesterday that I talked to both said that in order f a, I, cause I said, this is a really big deal that Homeland security it's is federal. HSI is leading this investigation. That's a big deal. But cause that means it's multi-state, which federal, but uh, it was said by both people separately that if they were able to obtain a warrant, it's a wrap. That means they already have, so if you can, so you're saying if you can send in the battalion of armed guys Especially with with bulletproof vests on uh, holding AKs, if you can send a crew of a hundred dudes into your house, they pretty much already have the evidence, is what you're telling me. So they pretty much got him nailed. I would say it's problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, by the way, <laughs> that's that's on the R. Kelly's attorney. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> that's what R. Kelly's attorney. No, that was the prosecutor. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so uh, now what's the deal with bieber i don't know what happened I, is this new, is he, new? I don't he know what this is. is a um puff daddy protege right yes. he's one of the yeah. yes brought him in as a young whatever eight-year-old yes. i yeah, don't know how old he was so maybe that's what remember because bieber went hardcore christian married this girl and usher he, found him and brought him to diddy yeah. right uh he's always been he was raised christian well he spun out for a minute he was a kid. Boy, don't we all. Yeah. Um, so, so, so that, so my thing is this, my conspiracy theory is this blew up. It was all over the news. And then, then the, the bridge got, the bridge in Baltimore got destroyed. I think Puff <laughs> Daddy sent the boat. Mm -hmm. He goes, we need to get this off the news. Take down the bridge. This all is right. bad news. All right, Alex Titus Jones. And his lawyer's like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's, <laughs> hey, call that shipping stuff that's got all our, all our, all our merch on it from China. Have it run into the bridge. Pay that guy. Run into the bridge. That's what I think happened. Yeah, what was it carrying? And what then he called it? Haiti. He's like, guys, can you can you start some shit and fire? We, I need to get cargo off the TV. Barge is like our generation's Titanic, except like so it's all of being Amazon able to, merch or whatever. I was gonna say yeah. it's coming from probably it looks like China or something. It's gonna be a bunch Singapore, of like dupe, gold shoes, dupe, Chanel it's registered in Singapore yeah. purses. <laughs> like yeah, we'll yeah, be yeah. finding those centuries from now at the bottom of the water. Well, only fell out was uh, they said some uh, only a couple few containers fell off, but I've never. Like I really got, I really, what really frightened me watching it. And I, it, so if you guys saw the video, this container ship, pretty big, sh pretty it's massive. It's like a city. It, yeah. So we saw one, we we did uh, Cobb's Comedy Club this weekend. Great shows, by the way. Great people. Thank you guys so much. 
Um, and we saw one going under the Bay Bridge. It was like right there. And she starts, she, she's panics about them. They're too big. They're too big. Quote, I'm too, big to, big ships. too big to be floating. It's all metal. It should be floating. She <laughs> How does that work? Science. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't I matter. I get it. It's but really when heavy. I was little, obviously, my dad took me to see aircraft carriers. He had several landings on them, and it freaked me out. They always freaked me out. Large ships of all kinds, mm -hmm. I can do without. So this thing was stacked with so many containers. The Bay Bridge is like a couple hundred feet, and it was barely. Yeah, there's a sign yeah. that says, it's just, yeah, cannot yeah, exceed yeah. this height. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Bridge is only 211 feet tall. Please keep your cargo under 211 feet. And so I was watching this. So we saw how big that one was, and then I watched the video. And here's what bothers me the most out of all of it. The bridge went down literally in 13 seconds. Oh, it hit It hit the pillar and, and literally went down in 13 seconds, which means that the infrastructure of America could mm -hmm. be ruined mm -hmm. in no time at all. Yeah. Now, that's one of the biggest ports. They can't get stuff in. Yeah. They can't get uh, uh, anything. And, they got, and, and, the, and, and I didn't realize how big the bridge was until today. I saw tugboats next to it and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, it's uh, like, like, uh, take uh, allergies. It but was, it went down like that. Like, and it was built in the 70s. So you'd think by then <clears throat> they would have, you know, we need to have structurally some structural integrity from the sides. It was you know obviously I mean? held it's up gonna, with tape. It, it, yeah. Because it went down yeah, yeah. way too fast. I'm like, this is, there's, so if, it, so if that's, so if we have inf infrastructure around the country that's that easy to take out, mm -hmm. we are, we are literally paper thin distance away from like, like having, Total chaos. You know, they always said that it take that in, in, in yeah, America. Yeah, we're one election away from it. Well, true that. Well, although there was, I think in 78 or 79, a lot of building codes changed right in that year. Mm -hmm. Like a big, some sweeping changes happened yeah. right then. Because we had some earthquakes in California. We had a, uh, well, no, we, oh, it was 80. We had the big 80, 84, 82 earthquake, the big giant earthquake that knocked down the yeah. freeway. They changed California, but I don't know if they did Baltimore. But I, 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 I really got that, oh, we are so fucking temporary. Like shit could go wrong so yes, fast. But a lot of stuff pr before that day was shit was just built shady. Yeah. There, They weren't, nobody was paying attention to codes or checking things. Right. There's fucking bottle caps and beer cans well, you in the middle that walls. That, there's that one video of that bridge in Washington that they built and then the wind hit it and it started doing this. <laughs> and it's this, this crazy ass and it goes bang and it just comes apart. Because they didn't have building codes. It looks like a bridge. That was pretty much how it went. <laughs> you drew a bridge. Okay, let's build that. It's a drawing of a bridge. Man. Uh, so the lawsuit that was filed by Lil Rod, the producer, that also accused Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, he him. alleges that he, Combs was running a widespread and dangerous criminal sex trafficking organization out of our backyard. Uh, he says he also groped him, forced him to engage in sexual acts with him. Uh, he said in the lawsuit that Diddy, his staff, and mute top music executive knew about and were involved in Ugh. illicit and unwanted sexual activities in Florida, New York, California, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. This is why it's federal. This is so, um, so Epstein. No. Uh -huh. In a nutshell, he is being accused of, nutshell. or will be. <laughs> it's <a> nutshell. <laughs> it's <a> nutshell. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm I'll proud of you. You I held did. it together. <laughs> I, did. I had a whole he bunch. Okay. Like, hey. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, he is accused of <laughs> preying on vulnerable women and men, trafficking them with the help of his private jet and a Caribbean island property. Some of those involved have been identified as sex workers that were recruited at Miami strip clubs at Diddy's urging. This is all being alleged in this lawsuit filed. So sounds very familiar, doesn't it? And I it almost sounds it almost it sounds like he was like, I could be Epstein too. Just better look and I'll out do for it better. Yeah. Avoid all ropes and hardware stores. Then wow. he cultivated an environment where his victims fear. He means out of our backyard. I was going to say, how big is that tough shed they had to get? <laughs> uh, he, it says that he cultivated an environment where victims feared speaking out. And if the allegations are true, it would mean that he used his power over aspiring young artists, like you said, models and assistants, similar to Weinstein. Yep. So he's got two two guys he looks up to. 
Oops, the Steens. And as tr- and here's so here's what bothers me about all of it, and we and we'll see it with Diddy, and we're seeing it with Trump. Trump got his uh, his judgment amount or his bail amount dropped from four forty to one seventy five. He he has ninety one felonies. He is, by the way, one of the felonies, many of them, are for top secret documents, top secret yes, nuclear, nuclear documents. Yep. And he's flying around on his fucking airplane. Mm-hmm. They didn't arrest Sean Combs. So and they might not. I people mean, keep saying, uh, uh, "Oh man, it's racism." No, it's 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 capitalism. It's money. It's money. Yeah, well. it's yeah. money. Yeah. If you got enough money, you can get it. You can put enough lawyer legal no. shit in front of it to not go to jail. Yep. <clears throat> and Trump keeps doing it. Oh, also Trump's. Uh, this is annoying. Uh, so Trump, we broke this four forty supposed to break him. Well, he gets that reduced. Then uh, True Social. Look, bring this up. True what? Social. Uh, got sold to a bigger uh, media oh, company, yeah. and supposedly it's worth thirteen million billion. Who now, bought it? Uh, it's exactly. Elon? exactly. Who bought it? I'm guess. I'm gonna guess. I'm ga- I'm gonna guess the money tracks to Saudi. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. <clears throat> but the reality of it is, is that True Social's made no money. It made three million or six million Don't you dollars in the last nine months. They closed their doors at some. They had point. no building. A- remember? Employees showed it up. We exist. talked about it. I think it was during COVID. Employees showed up and it was gone. And now it's supposedly worth twelve billion, but Dude. they only made three million dollars in the last nine months. Says the guy who inflated values of no, all no, of his they're assets. They're acquiring it uh-huh. and giving him stock that is valued at four bill billion dollars. So explain that in a failing company, company that makes no money, right around the time he's running for president and, and owes all this really money. Really needs money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But uh, can you see what it, what it did? It, like it went up like fifty percent yesterday. It was it was up forty one percent. And then it, went, it ended up sixteen. It ended up up sixteen percent. It was a it was a good first day. Um, uh, it came to a closing market value yesterday of nearly eight billion, which would be about the same as Lyft or Etsy, with no income, Mm-mm. with no product and no income. Exactly. He doesn't run ads on it, right? Exactly. How does he monetize this well, thing? Well, I mean, imagine this grift. Imagine this grift. So you come up with this cop Twitter copy, this half-ass right-wing Twitter copy, right? Yeah. It, it, there's, I'm sure there's a couple million people on it, 13 million, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't make money. If Elon Musk bought Twitter, which was worldwide the biggest mm-hmm. platform this of was that my question, yeah. for a while, um, and he's losing money on it. Mm-hmm. Can't make it work. It's just barely staying afloat. The stock dropped like crazy. Yeah, but what did he pay for it? Forty-four billion. He had to come with the money. But then it tanked. Tanked. It's, like, like, it's worth like fifty percent. It's worth like, like a third of what it was supposedly. And uh, okay. so, so there's that. And that's actually one that people really use. Mm-hmm. That was the the successful right. one. Then True Social comes around. Not very good. It's not. It's not good. Um, he's the only one who's really big on it. You never see posts on true social from other people you just see yeah. donald trump yeah. so it doesn't make any money it's and then you so you, so that doesn't make any money at all you can see what it made in the last six months it's a failing business it is not referred to it's not used in the marketplace outside of itself no. like twitter was right like it was used as an ad but imagine the grift so he's like all right i build this company i do it for a couple of years i get it to some value then I have these foreign investors, Putin, China, whoever, mm-hmm. whoever that wants him to be president, mm-hmm. buy all the stock. Yeah. By the way, he, it's not the first time he did this. He right. lost oh, yeah. he lost nine hundred and twenty one million dollars out of his casinos. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the how do you been do, doing this? This is right. this thing. so what you do is you take the money and it goes out the back. Oh, I lost all money. I'm thinking he is like <laughs> the move the producers. You know the movie The Producers yes, where they yes, came up with yes. he Except j- not with no sense of humor. With the, yeah, not with funny at all. No funny. I, not well funny to us but um he uh just invents these knowingly failing businesses and just as write-offs and bankruptcies and he plays the law but imagine but this one's different because here's why this was here at the casinos again because here's how casinos work you know that as i said it before they bring people give you their money and they leave mm-hmm. that's how casinos mm-hmm. work so his casinos in atlantic city lost a total of 921 million dollars he wrote that off for over 12 years, 10 yeah. or 12 years. He wrote that money off as a loss. Where the fuck did that money go? Like, where'd it yeah. go? He didn't lose $900 billion. So, at one point, w- there was an article I read a while ago, and it was a long time, when it, when in 16, that supposedly the money, they can't prove it, but they think the money went out the back. They think the cash got taken. 
Mm-hmm. So, and then he claimed a loss. So he took the money and because it's if it's all cash, people just fucking handing you yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and so so imagine this Griff. So now you do it on a bigger scale. Now you get it, you get it, you get on the stock exchange, you have a worthless asset. Yep. You get a bunch of people because you can't take foreign money, it's against the law. But if foreign money invests and buys all this fucking stock mm-hmm. from this company. He gets all the money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the shell game. And it's yeah. legal. Yep. Fuck. Fuck. It's a way with everything. <laughs> Fuck. This is uh, good games our oh, system. And by the way, and now, and the, to top it all up, the cherry on top, the Jesus cherry on top, oh, the God. man is, is selling Bibles. Oh, my God. Did you see this? Hold I on, can't believe. Okay, wait. Every <laughs> fucking week, we say, this motherfucker yes. cannot stoop yes. any lower. lower. Oh, oh, and then he now he's he selling holds Bibles, it and he goes, "It's a Bible of which I have <laughs> many." But <laughs> it's his timing <laughs> of which I have many. It's like why, why can't he? So it's fifty nine ninety nine. He's making money on said Bible as he's running for government because like he said this morning, you know how our founding fathers wanted it to be, you know, where we bring religion into state, the church and state. Church and state. No, we they didn't. I think yeah, they yeah. did. According to Lauren Boebert, they, that's how, what that's they wanted. Wrong. They designed it as a Christian nation. Okay. And <laughs> so with this Bible, you also get the Bill of Rights. In the Bible. The Constitution, mm-hmm. the words to the song National, by Lee Green. National, yeah, Bird, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Not uh, America the Beautiful, but also be Proud to be an American. And, and embossed on the cover of the Bible is an American flag. And like on the cover of the Bible. It's like such a, it's, it's, it's one of those things where they're just, it, how do we get people to start making so we can have a Christian nation against everything? Our then, I know we'll start selling Bibles with the American flag on them. At the end, he's so proud of himself. And he says, you know, that he, you know, he has many Bibles and that everybody should. It's many people's favorite book. And then he says, <laughs> make America pray again. No! <laughs> oh, my God. The Christian nationalist. <laughs> Poor shit. Wait, isn't it are, y- how you're not supposed to profit off of? Not only that, a, but let's go. Jesus, Jesus is right. Jesus is just. You hear that noise? It's just Jesus banging his head against a cross. Profit so, is a profit, not profit. Yeah, okay? exactly. You yeah, exactly. Right. The profits are in it, but you shouldn't profit, profit off it. From the exactly. Pro- profit. So, so he's currently got perfume again gold with the words. Tennis oh, shoes. Yeah, yeah, even the words. <laughs> Bibles. G- gold tennis shoes, oh, Bible, and then of course the Never Surrender merch and, while he's NFTs. surrendering. NFTs got the NFTs. NFTs, uh-huh. NFTs, and then pieces of his suit from when he surrendered. Right, uh, uh, mug shots. Mm-hmm. His mug shots, so his mug the T-shirt. Right, 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 right. Social media platform. Never surrender. Where he surrendered to this, where he surrendered. Yeah, that was to the, the one. To, to, yeah. to get his picture did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classified uh, documents are two on of the his merch. Attorneys, yeah, yeah. On the merch. All, all of his former attorneys are in the hot seat right now, uh, but it's kind of. Some things are happening this week for Jeffrey Clark. Remember him? And Clark. John Eastman. Uh, Eastman he was, was DOJ. Eastman was, a, was the bad attorney. Eastman was the guy who spoke on um, yes. on January 6th. Yes, they're both in ongoing attorney discipline cases in jurisdictions where they have been barred. Um, so can we talk about the total lack? Like the, I, when I watched the thing today with the Bible, I was like, you're the guy that paid off the porn star you were fucking while your wife was raising your newborn. You're the guy. No, no, gun. no. He got saved since then. That's what I was told. He got, he got saved what? since he then. He got saved since Saved. Then. Oh. But that was last year, right? He got saved last I year? Think, I don't know. But then he had wanted to have General Milley killed like Jesus would have wanted. It's not. It's like executed. the thing that makes me crazy is <laughs> that every, yeah, is that the people that are saying that, you know, like in my family and, and friends and, you know, that are saying, oh, he's different he's changed he wasn't a christian but now he is he's been saved and i just think if if you were in the same church that i was growing up and you were you would also know that that would carry with it some sort of expectation of change in how he acts acts, and and speaks to people speaks about people speaks to people 
And yes. that has not happened. And he doesn't say bloodbath or um, poisoning the blood. Poison. Or, or right, right. Um, what was the what thing he, he said on Christmas? You're a Jew, by the way, by the way, Vermin. If, you're a Vermin. Jew, if you're a Jew and you vote Democratic, you're a bad Jew. <laughs> it's just a but lot But here's of... this book that has a lot to do <laughs> with Jews. <laughs> Even the way he holds it. And an American like... flag on it. Uh, he holds it like it's burning him. He does hold it like it's burning him. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of things being ridiculous, this episode is brought to you by Harry's because Harry. it's one thing that is not ridiculous in a world filled with ridiculous. We were uh, up north in California and we stayed at my my lovely aunt's house. Yep. Um, who we have we have discussions. We we are uh, uh, diametrically opposed politically, but we love them to death. They're yep. awesome. Uh, so it's just it it shows to show you can get along with the people that don't agree with you politically and. Uh, I used the Harry's razor before the show on Friday, and I just said, you know, we've had Harry's as a as a sponsor for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I said, every time, I said, every time, I, I never am never, I am never not surprised at how well, or, and I go, Ray, feel my face. How many times have I made you do that over every the years? Every time. Every uh, time you shave. It's, it's ridiculous. It is every, ridiculous. It, people, if you're not using Harry's razors, razors, why are you listening to the podcast? Uh, do you think, yeah. it, uh, well, you don't, you what? I'll tell you. I did. If you Just still today. haven't tried it. <laughs> that makes me sad. If you still haven't tried it, all other razors that I used before, when you shave, what you are used to is just a light stubble. There's a little, a little bit, bit of something. There's mm -hmm. something, yeah. But now with Harry's, you do it and there is nothing. Right. It is the craziest, closest shave ever. Um, we love not just the shaving products, but they have a whole span of products that I have yet Shampoos, to find one wash, that I don't like. Lo and lotion, they are paste. insanely affordable in a also not as affordable world these days. Um, I love the Redwood shower gel that you use. I love that. Um, I, I got love the mint. The I got the mint, mint now. I got the, I got a mint now. You I use cucumber mint. different kinds of two in one shampoo. You got all kinds of stuff going on over there. It's the only company that their quality stays consistent throughout it. Every product they have, whether it's hair paste, uh, body lotion, body wash, or razors, mm -hmm. uh, the razors by far are better. Like, I mean, I know the razors. You, we all you, there's look. You, if you're a man, you grew up. You had your razor. You should be like you had your razor. These are my razors. If I used any other razors besides Harry's, I'd be dead. I'd be dead right now. Because <laughs> I'll just go. Just be a poof, just, like a just bush. be blood. <laughs> because I'll I can That's go awesome. dry with a Harry's razor yeah. quick yeah. in and out. Boom 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 boom. Done. I don't, I don't right anything. Out. That's what I noticed in the shower today. I, I I had stubble from like four days. I just went. Sh -sh -sh -sh. It was so fast. nothing. You don't need anything. You just do it, and yeah. it's and you're good. If it was five blades made in German, it was made created in a German factory. So the best way to do it is to get the shave set because it comes with everything. So if you haven't tried it yet, or if you have tried it and you want this new craft handle, which I have the chrome one because it's super sweet. I like the bubbles. Um, German engineered blades made in their own factory. They stay sharp longer. I use mine forever. Mm -hmm. um, you will get a five blade razor, the weighted handle, the foaming shade gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks if you go to harrys.com slash bombshell. That's an, that's an insane deal. And you can set up refills for as low as $2, which is good because if you accidentally run out of blades, it is like... It's devastating. It's not, yeah, it's not okay. <laughs> you can run now to, is it Target? Yeah, Target has them. I go, that I try to get the hair. Let's try to get the hair. Uh, uh, Target, uh, <clears throat> CVS uh, also carries, uh, that's when I get the hair paste a lot of times. I use all the hair products. Guys, we got, you know, as we say on this show, uh, if we advertise it, that we yeah. turned, there was three advertisers this week and I was like, nope. Yep. And no risk trial as well. I yep, turned some do down it. too without telling you. I was proud of myself. Uh, they'll, if you don't like it, they'll take it back because they know you won't send it back. So, uh, Go to Harry's, get started with that $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash bombshell. That's harrys.com slash B-O-M-B-S-H-E-L-L -L for a $3 trial set. I was got, something got delivered to the house. Uh, I think it was UPS. I think it was UPS. I think it was UPS. Yeah, it was UPS. Okay, and man. I walk out and I go, oh, I grabbed it. And, uh, and I put it in the garage and the guy goes, hey, man, I really like your work. And he goes, oh, I love the podcast. Oh, yes, driver. Hey. That was awesome. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the UPS guy? Yeah. Was it? Um, guy with the beard? Got a little little beard. Black hair. You didn't hear what I hair. said. No, I told you I liked it. He had a hat. It wasn't you. Oh, uh, I can let I you do it. Wow, you. we were really not paying Ken enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I told you I needed time work. Hello. <laughs> um, uh, so, so also other lawyers, Stephanie Lambert recently spent the night in jail for failing to show up for a case against her in Michigan. Giuliani, we obviously know, has been suspended from practicing law and has filed for bankruptcy. Um. 
Lawrence Joseph, Julia Holler, and Brandon Johnson, who worked in battleground states to help him overturn the election, are now facing attorney disciplinary charges in Washington, D.C. Uh, the State Bar of California is issuing their decision by today regarding John Eastman's law license. Uh, and Jeffrey Clark's professional ethics trial started yesterday. So everything this man has been involved in, everybody who has worked for him, everybody who backed him up, everyone he, he appointed, there's out of the 44 people that he appointed over the four years he was president, 40 of them have come out and said, this guy is a danger to democracy. Do not elect this man. Cassie, Cassidy Hutchinson gets on TV almost every day. And she's like, look, yeah. we are, he, I heard him say he's going to become a dictator. It's, it's two camps, right? If you work for Trump, you are either um, a whistleblower on him right. or you are in the Legion of Doom. You are a fucking criminal. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what mean? It's, but then again, then when you get busted for being a criminal, he just cuts you loose. Yes. You know, and so what I don't understand is like, uh, listen, you and I may argue once in a while, Ray and I argue, we got each other's backs. When someone gets an argument with Trump and he cuts them loose, if they get in trouble, he's like, uh, don't worry, I'll be paying you. I will pay your legal fees. Yeah, no, nope. he demands loyalty. Yes. Demands he it. doesn't. But he, it, it's It doesn't crazy. serve reciprocal in no, terms of like never, uh, protecting ever. anyone. No, not once. And if you, I have family that- if he got elected, would go to the White House probably and work in the White House. And I think, but didn't you see all those other people? All those people? He's not going to do it to me. I don't get that. He's not going to do it to me. He, look, he, look, he, look. Process. I mean, he, his best friend Giuliani's fine. Oh. Well, you know, you know, what have Bill Barr, who, 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 who he brought in, is that he, that guy didn't come out again. Oh, yeah. Manafort. Manafort. Well, you Rick know, his Gates. wife loves it. Oh. Yeah, where is Melania? <laughs> where the fuck is Melania? Where is Melania? And where is Baron? Baron's of age now. He's got his own house and stuff, but Baron's well, six eight. Melania is a barge captain. <laughs> fuck this man. <laughs> she was, I'm getting out of Baltimore. I'm leaving Baltimore. I will take the wheel. We're leaving now. Oh shit. You know those, <laughs> you know those like security things? You're like <laughs> Please choose which one is a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> she get the wrong one. She messed up. Please choose again. So he turned 18 yep. on March 20th. So he's going to college, supposedly. Warden? I don't know. Um, so then Melania doesn't even have him at home. So Where is she? Like, like, l listen, listen, okay, f uh, uh, listen, people, let's say you love every policy Trump does. Let's say you like everything he says. Let's say you actually want a Bible with the American flag on it, which seems so sacrilegious in like nine different ways. But if someone's wife yeah. won't be seen with them, yes. will not be on camera in with court. them. Yeah. When he was charged. Won't go anywhere he goes anymore. We haven't seen her at Mar-a-Lago. Listen, I've been doing a lot of investigating online, <laughs> looking for her whereabouts and images yeah. of where she might be or someone who looks like her you might need be. To get, you need to start other all right, subscription stop services. Now, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Does Melania have an OnlyFans or something we don't know about? Like, what is going, like, where is she? Ken is lonely. I, I I got that. I got it. I got what he's doing. <laughs> Searching images over I'm and over. Mr. What did AOC say this week? He <laughs> has nobody. I like that you're, I like that you're bipartisan. Speaking come, of AOC, comes up, I love AG1. This oh, episode man, brought wow. to you by AG1. And a thin thread to connect to the advertising. Nice job. Taking care of your health is not easy, it seems like, but I think it should be, and that's why I use AG1 every damn day one scoop in water little drop of the d3 k2 actually i've been putting it in, in my smoothies, smoothies in the this smoothies. past it's week it's been great in the smoothies it, it it has been actually um i like it better in the smoothies i mean I, I love it in the water too but it's in the smoothies it just it's great well it gets every you're done you got yeah. your food you got your <laughs> exactly. one you got if you could put everything if you could blend oatmeal. every supplement i have into well, a paste. That's what I love about AG1. <laughs> that would absorb through my Into skin. Toothpaste. I'd be fresh with it. You don't need a supplement closet anymore. You don't need to take probiotics. You have to keep refrigerated prebiotics. It's got 
like whole food source superfoods, you're getting your greens. I mean, my God. That would be a good commercial. If the apocalypse them. happens, you're going to need this. That would be a really good commercial. Just someone got opens a cabinet because we have a cabinet literally stacked with vitamin bottles. Mm -hmm. and you see, never it, you use see it, just an arm coming and go, hoonk, 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 clink. Yep. And just drop the bag right there, AG1. I like too that they test it to make sure that it's high quality. They source their ingredients to make sure that they, you know, for absorption, potency, nutrient density. I like that it gives you uh, brain, gut, and immune health support. We need immune health support these days. Um, speaking of that, we ran into our favorite epidemiologist in Washington, D.C., Eric. Dr. Feigelding. Dr. Feigelding. Oh. He's going to be back on to give us an update. On COVID and what's going on with it. and nobody the knows what to do. And, and how the CDC has gone from being some place that Trump like politicized the CDC so much. Yep. So you also get your adaptogens, which they love, antioxidants. You're getting everything. So if you could just do one thing a day, you're like, I can't do mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff. This is the one thing that I think that you should do. It's made a big difference for I me. I want my pee to not be a color that I don't recognize. That is the I'll strangest thing too, because then you don't have, it's not weird color. Nope. You're I think not, it's because all the, well, it's all mixed in. There's no binders in it. It's powder. I, I think there's- I Yeah, think, nothing comes out. It's, I it think, goes- Yeah, yeah. It's, it's absorbed. absorbed. Interesting. So if there is one product we have to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. That's why we partner with them for so long. Uh, if you want to take ownership of your health, you can start with AG1. Try it. Get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash Titus. That's drinkag1.com slash Titus. Good Check stuff. it out. It is really good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, this week, guys, I'm going to be in Portland at Helium, uh, and Ray's not going to be there because she's taking care of our little guy. Uh, Chaplin is Chaplin's in bad shape. Our little uh, boop. We were going to take him, but then she's today. She said, "I said yesterday, no, no, no. I, I think after we were quite surprised to find out how many teeth they took out. He old, seventy two. He is not old. He is spry AF. Oh no, he's playing ball like a crazy man. Even last night, he's high from. This, this dog is this dog is the toughest dog it, for a little Yorkie. He if you have Yorkies, you know what we're talking he's about. He's on pain meds. Like uh -huh. he's they injected him. He was under for yeah. a couple Anesthesia of hours. For Anesthesia. A couple of hours. So yeah. he's gloopy. I get the little one, Groucho wants to play ball, and I start throwing the ball. Chaplin jumps off the bed, let's do this, runs to the end of the hall, picks up one ball and goes, Oh, I run to downstairs and they disappeared. <laughs> he tried. He, he did came, try. He brought it downstairs to me. Like, <coughs> can you put this somewhere? Yeah. Hide this, like from dad. <laughs> Hide this from dad, please. Because I don't want to play anymore. Don't let him throw it again. <laughs> He's doing polar plunges. Poor He's getting off the chip yeah, yeah, he does, man. He's totally. Driving Corvettes. He's working with the Hoff. Yeah, he's got New Balance tennis shoes on his paws. <laughs> he's biking. New yeah, and you know what would help him with his tennis shoes and his biking? What would? Fitbot. Yay! <laughs> I was. I know it's close together, but that was too good. Yeah, you guys were like, <laughs> like she, right there. He's always looking for like a, just a wedge to get You added. actually promoted. I, so I tell you guys, if we love products and we do put them on the podcast, that means we actually really use yep. them a lot. Yep. And you were actually pushing this last weekend with your cousin cousin scott you were telling him about fitbod and you use fitbod when we're on the road i what i love what i love most about fitbod is i it takes all the all the walking around the gym going okay now what do i do okay what do i do today we do this we do that you just go in you pick the, the muscles you want to work uh you'll start to actually b build your splits differently which i've noticed i've noticed the longer i do it the more i'm like all right today's this today is this i actually last week i switched it up i usually i usually hold legs off to the last day and then I realized, what am oh, I doing? Wheel. And I flipped yeah. it. I was like, no, I'm doing legs the first mm -hmm. day. Love, yeah. That's my favorite. I'm doing day. legs the first day so I can get it done. Get it out of the way. And um, and Fitbod guides you through it. And then I have I have a bunch of so you can build a different d bunch of different profiles. So I'm actually working on right now. We have the special. We're filming the special. April I 13th. I want to drop a little bit of body fat. Mm -hmm. So what I, I what I, I went to my other profile, which is lean and clean cardio, which adds it gives me seven exercises, weight exercises, and then it gives me a cardio session. So you can create different profiles. Yes. Basically, it's different goals. But mind. also based on equipment you have. Like I have another one that's called a full gym. Like if I go to, yep. we go to a place that's got a full gym, I hit that and it'll give me cable machines and everything because else. Because you can use Fitbod with no equipment as well. Yeah, you're, then, you're letting it know what I'll, you have. I have a, you can go, there's a switch you go to, you go okay. to a menu, so you hit body weight only. It'll give you an ass kick and workout. It does cry. And uh, like, how many times do I complain? I'm like, yeah. this is harder than the dumbbells. Yeah. What is what is what is this? Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
personalized and it adapts as you progress. So it go, it works with you. And what I love about it is so many people, when I was training, I would always hear people say, I just, I'm embarrassed to go to the gym. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to go look stupid in front of everybody. You don't have to go anywhere. You can do this at home. And there's a video. And they you give can, you video. You can click yes. it on and go, oh, that's how you do it. I saw, I, saw I, remember like, I was doing a front raises and I was like, well, how far are my shoulders supposed to be? And so I went to the video. I'm like, because I was kind of doing them out here, mm -hmm. which felt like cheating. Mm -hmm. So I had to really over. Yeah, it makes a big like, difference. Yeah, made yeah, a big technique. on my shoulder. Yeah. Tracks your muscle recovery, which is important. So it won't let you do the same and prep every day. I'm trying. I'm, I'm getting five works out of, workout a week. In. Holy crap. Five workouts a week Work in. Workout a week's in. <laughs> I'm getting weeks of working and whack a week and whack. I can't edit everything. Yeah, yeah. By, the way, yeah. money. By the way, Fitbot does not help you with speaking better. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so uh, I it's tracking me now. At the end of every workout, it goes, You're on you're on track to get five in this week. You're on track. And it like it's like, hey, it's like having a buddy nudge, that you nudge. that you wish would shut up. <laughs> nudge, nudge. This is the I've never seen you be more committed to a workout program since I've known you. And that's been a very long time. This is like one that for whatever reason, it dialed it in and you- It tracks my sets, it tracks my weight, it tracks and how much like I'm doing. And you like got so committed. I'm usually the psycho when it comes to that. It also and he me. makes me feel lazy. Well, like I'm like, oh, you're working out again It today. gave me 40 pound curls yesterday, the other day. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 but then you, how did it feel? Did it- did Well, it, I did, I tried to do one, I did one set and it was, my form was so bad. Mm. I just went into the thing. Thing and I and I and I set the weight to thirty five. Yeah, and then I that set was it was funny because it was it was just bumping up against too far. And then my my foam is better, but you can go in and change fine -tune it, it, and it still tracks it, and it still tracks what you're doing. It still tracks your calories at the end. You hit workouts, awesome. tells you how many. It's it's a great. It's, but it's trying to make you better. So yeah, but it's like it's, it's, believes it's in like you. that angry football coach that's screaming at you like I can't do it, <laughs> coach. <laughs> So, uh, add FitBod to your workout essentials. I was just telling Aunt Kathy this, how affordable it is. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off the subscription for the year, or you can try the app for free at fitbod.me slash Titus. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Titus. So, 25% off for the whole year. I, I don't count on this but it's it, it, it was somewhere around 60 bucks and that's for an entire year every day of working out that is insane yep check it out Enjoy. and it's fine-tuned by personal trainers Do we get a code? Is it you code? get it's f-i-t-b-o-d dot m-e slash titus perfect uh, you're filming your special April 13th. April 13th. If you guys want to come see the special, uh, go seven to, and nine thirty. Go to ChristopherTitus.com. Right, they can get through. There's a link they through there. Click through. They can click through. Click through. ChristopherTitus.com and uh, come see the special. It's a lot after of party with the nine thirty show. Uh huh. And I just watched. I looked at the set that Chip Foose has drawn. I'm I'm not sure. It's it's insane, and I'm not sure how to build it. But we're going to do that. I'm freaked out by. If you it. build it. Yeah, we'll build it right here. They but, will come. Yeah. Uh, I'm scared. Don't be scared. The good news is we can always figure something out, but I mean, it's, but I don't want to give up this early, but it's badass. Um, and so this week was just weird. The bridge went down. We had Puff Daddy getting like literally raided like Scarface. Um, and then you got Trump selling Bibles. I, I, I <laughs> there's a chaos. There, it, it's. I guess it's a pretty weird balance. You got Piff Diddy. He's Piff Diddy. I call that. That's, new, that's this week's name. Do Dodd, whatever I called him. Um, he you know, that's evil getting taken down, but then you get the other evil holding up a Bible, and then you get the bridge for no reason just getting crashed into, ruining a trade in that area. I, I don't, I just don't. I we are America's in a weird place, we're in a weird place, and no one's heard shit. We haven't heard shit about Ukraine. And also, I don't want to make anybody panic, but because the polar ice is melting, it's changing uh, Earth's rotation, why, so it's why? actually messing with time itself. Is it slowing down? So time, One day, time and space is changing. In the next couple of years, everyone in the world is going to lose a second of their time. Exactly so when that will up? happen is being influenced by humans, according to a new study, is melting polar ice is altering the Earth's rotation. So it's speeding up, so we lose a second. We're going to lose a second. Damn it! How am I going to get anything done? I'm already like up against. You're it. already behind. Jesus! In last minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a whole second. These nearly imperceptible changes occasionally will mean that the world's clocks need to be adjusted by a leap second, which may sound tiny, but can have a huge impact on computing systems. Oh, this is like a new Y2K. No, I was going to say, well, I was going to go, here we go. Uh -huh. So now, the plenty of seconds have been added, like you were thinking over the years, but after a long trend of slowing, 
the Earth's rotation is now speeding up because of changes in its core. For the first time ever in history, a second will need to be taken off. A negative leap second has never been added or tested, so the problems it could create are without precedent. You know, I feel bad there's a guy somewhere going, oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> hold on. The Earth is it's, oh, we're getting, it's speeding up. We'll go. I want, Do you and know like, who it was? It and, was the dentist and he ran in, in France. Let me tell you where Dennis works. The time department at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. So he talks like this. <laughs> so guys, the problem is uh, that the earth is slowing down a little bit. Uh, so we need to actually uh, change all the clocks. It's going to be very busy. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> he finally has a job. I have French dentists. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, all this time has paid off for me. <laughs> so is that Superman can reverse time? <laughs> it, it, well, can we it's... call Superman? He can just one or two times show down a little bit. <laughs> no, no Superman. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know where you were. And again, with I always that. go into Asian yes, Hispanic. I yes. don't know why that happens. All my impressions, I can only do them for like 11 seconds and then at 12 and they seconds. they drift into, or Scottish they, they, or something. They drift into something horrible. Um, go check out Knock em Dead. You guys can go listen to it wherever or watch it on YouTube, Knock em Dead podcast. Uh, the last one was awesome. Billy Gardell did it. The one what before. A, what a great way. We just, we got back a couple weeks ago from um, dealing with mom storage unit and to deal with all the... You know, someone dying in your life is not something that it, it, it's not a one thing. It's not one thing. They don't just die and you move on. No. It's like there is this mountain of bullshit that you have to yeah. go through emotional, physical, uh, and then there's all the stuff you got to deal with and everybody in the family gets insane. So if you guys are going through anything like that, we're all going to go through death in some way or form uh, around us. Uh, go to Knock em Dead podcast, watch it. Uh, at Ray, it's Ray's, it was Ray's idea. She runs it. It's really a blast. And, uh, and there you go. Also, uh, go to ChristopherTitus.com to see all our tour dates coming up. And I'm working on the new show now. So we're going to be, oh, uh, get tickets to Netflix is a joke festival, May 2nd. At the Kookaburra Lounge, right? Yes. May 2nd, Kookaburra Lounge in Hollywood. Netflix is a joke. Um, Jen said that that's a really cool venue, so I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. And you guys can get tickets to that in the I'll El Porto. I'll be doing Carrie <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> and he'll never do Le that. Le Carrie <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> and now it's time for Highlanders <laughs> Fun Facts. Highlanders Fun Facts. It's Highlanders Fun Facts. Yeah. This is speaking of everything we talked about, okay? <laughs> I mean, HSI, <laughs> quality razors, <laughs> and tactical chicken. Okay. Yeah. Armadillo, armadillo shells are bulletproof. Really? Yes. Wow. No. That's, that's the fact. That is fun. In that fact, is so fun. That is actually a fun yes. fact. Uh, so they're the cyber truck of animals. Yes. Except if you hit them with a hammer, they, they don't shatter window, yeah, on their yeah. window, on their eyeball. Uh, te one Texas man was hospitalized when a bullet he shot at an armadillo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, man. Ricocheted off him. Ricocheted off the animal and hit him in the jaw. Good. Wow. Yeah. You tell me about karma. And tell me the, karma. And no the armadillo went like this. Take yeah. that. Take hey, that, he, he just went. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Oh, I, ha I have another fun fact. Okay. This one is. <laughs> it turns out in 2022, Kid Rock started building. Isn't he Man Rock now? House. He's got to be Man Rock yeah, now, right? The kid. Man yeah, Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's Lil or Big or Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he started building a replica White House to live in. That is almost complete. Oh my gosh! So Can he everybody now just get a life. He now lives in. Instead of his double wide, he used to live in a double wide. No surprise there. <laughs> he lives in a replica White House. What in the fuck? Is it going to be made out of a double wide? Like they it's made out of build around and, it? And, Bud Light. and But also to keep it really authentic, he had slaves build it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to keep the country, just to keep his fans happy. <laughs> guys thanks for listening thanks for watching the titus podcast go to christopher titus tv on youtube or go to christopher titus.com uh the merch there's new merch coming out there's going to be a new shirt uh that we're designing now uh called uh, uh hope uh maybe hope is just a 
sorry, maybe orgasm is just another word for help. That's for the new special. That whole, that is the shirt. The yeah, whole that's mess the, up yeah, is that, on there. Because there is no help. It's me fumbling around <laughs> and then get through it. Uh, guys, thanks for listening, for watching. And uh, please go to Knock em Dead Podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I heard myself clutter. I stopped it. I want to get here. My life is, uh, is a little bit rattled right now. Little, you are, I'm a little I think, hurt. honestly, a lot of it has to do as well with how brilliant you are i think that your brain is going a mile a minute and it cannot your mouth cannot keep up with it i'm also heartbroken and i am uh, scared and i live in uh, fear and desperation you are all of those things <laughs> and i'm also awesome so Super. it's hard i'm juggling a lot of psychotic in me yes thanks for listening thanks for watching uh for myself the lovely bombshell ray and the highlander later peace out there you one